I think for her, she just saw she could do more. You know, just being from the Bronx and, um, you know, from a middle income, I couldn't give her this kind of computer. She put it together herself and she could see she could do it. She could do it. She could just do it in the future as a career, for fun, whatever it is that she wants. We're her generation. And so it's very important for me to, you know, provide any opportunities to my siblings, to my brother who doesn't have any idea of what exists out in the world in terms of engineering. This is uh, something new to him because when he was growing up, he was like, I want to be a street banker. That was the only thing that he saw, right? Growing up in Harlem, growing up in Manhattan, you only see street vendors or construction workers. And so the question really is, where do you seek internships as a student of color interested in the sciences and engineering? Positive change is created as a result of relentless efforts and small consistent wins that build up enough momentum to cause impactful progress. In our battle for diversity and inclusion in gaming and technology, 361 Commission recently scored our biggest milestone to date with the support of Intel and Bloomfield College. In search to create our first cohort of students, we work with KIPPS administrators to create a short but rigorous application process where each student demonstrated their interest in the seminar by answering some general questions on gaming and content creation and completed a brief essay. 10 kids from Kip Infinity Middle School and Kip All Middle School were provided with an amazing opportunity to tour the state-of-the-art facility at Bloomfield College's Creative Arts and Technology Center and build their own gaming PCs that they were able to take home. Uh, what is my hope? That you know these kids take home these PCs and really enjoy them uh, and really take full advantage of everything they can do with them, whether it's gaming, content creation, engineer work, video work, photography work, um, just really make all the use they can with this PC we're doing today. I think things like anime, drawing, you know, um, you know, illustration, content creation, right, are, are really great gateways, to, right, to, to stoke someone's passions and then bring in technology to aid in that, right? So uh, some really cool things I think you could do as a result of building like these PCs that you're all building today, right, is, you know, um, you know, find one of those uh, digital creation applications, uh, really really super inexpensive uh, thing like a, a lock or tablet or some kind of surface that you digital work on. Too. Okay, awesome. Yeah, or, or like an iPad or something like that, uh, right? And, 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 and use those applications. And then what you can do is all that love you have for anime, drawing, artwork, etc. create content with it, right? I'm excited to gain insight on PC building and learning the internal elements of learning how to build a PC and the process that I can utilize in the future for any engineering careers that I want to pursue. I plan on like toying with different animation programs like Adobe and other other um, platforms I like gaming with my friends I like streaming. I plan on probably uh, doing probably if I can school work and I'm probably gonna use it for games sometimes, but mostly like important things. I'm excited with all these opportunities. This is a new experience for me, and I'm just proud that like I got in, and everybody else who got in. Program is awesome. Program was excellent, fantastic. I was I was even more excited than she was. It seems like because I would say it was a program like this when I was growing up. Kids of color tend to be the biggest consumer of console gaming like PlayStation and Xbox. But the real opportunities for collegiate or professional growth within the gaming industry are only made possible through PC gaming. With the support of Intel, we were able to bring these opportunities to our cohort. Programs like this are so important, I think, because I think students and kids just don't know what they don't know. And like this really opens up their eyes to like something they're already doing for fun can really be a career path for them, a gateway to a lot of things they want to do. Exposure to programs like this um, got me into science, technology, engineering, and math. And so I think pro there need to be more programs that connect with the education piece outside of school to let kids know that there are other ways to get into STEAM without being in school. Uh, the program, I think, was overall very, I don't know, uplifting, I think, and inspiring to a lot of uh, young learners. Um, it was particularly interesting seeing 
how quickly they pick up and how they're able to learn and apply throughout the, throughout the day the, from what they learn the, from the panels and the, and the kind of hands-on workshop of putting the PC together. Another focus of our PC seminar was to inspire students to expand their thoughts on career paths by teaching them the ways in which gaming and their newly provided high-end gaming PCs can expose them to STEAM opportunities. From animation to engineering, the opportunities are limitless. You know, when I used to, uh, I, I advise when I was running student services as in colleges, I would spend a lot of time advising students. Uh, one of my main areas when I was in Michigan was I spent a lot of time in Detroit. So I was in some of, some of the rougher areas of Detroit and helping kids trying to get involved and internships. And one of the key things is that uh, students, they have a, a lot of times they have career services offices that students can come into and interact. But most of the, a lot of the internships uh, that come for students has a lot to do with sometimes a professor. Like, um, and I had a lot of good relationships with the professors in college. And the professors, a lot of them are very involved in the industry and would create opportunities for students to be able to um, interact with that company. I know students that we created opportunities to do apprenticeships so that they could get real hands-on experience right there with the professionals uh, to understand what it's like in a day-to-day -day, um, thing. I, th I think in this world with the competition for talent, you're gonna see more programs like that, more apprenticeship programs so that students can get the feel for some of that opportunity. The other thing um, is there's a lot of summer camps um, that uh, expose students to different um, <clears throat> industries. So I used to run a lot of our uh, summer camps and I would bring in professionals to gain insight into different industries. Some of those um, industries actually not only come with an internship, they come with um, resources as well. Like some of them come with housing stipends. Um, so there's a variety of, there's a couple of variety of ways that you could get connected to that um, in some of the colleges. 361 Commission's mission centers around the ascension of the youth as we know that is the only way to make generational change. We will continue to use gaming as a vessel to broaden young students' perspectives of their own potential and provide them with the tools to set them up for success. Brick by brick, the journey continues.